what is going on guys it's your boy colton here and yes i am finally back and yes this is my complete pc build so i thought i'd explain a little bit of things before i start the video first i'm sorry it took so long but i did have some problems with ordering my package the credit card didn't go through and whatnot and that kind of ties in with the other problem um i ordered a wrong the wrong graphics card therefore putting the computer in a step down than what it should be uh although it's still gonna get the job done i didn't get my graphics card that i wanted i was on the phone with the representative on my, with my bank and uh i was quickly putting in everything reordering it because it deleted my order and uh, i just picked one that looked like it but i'm gonna do this video anyways for you guys and of course i'll update you when i get a new graphics card but yeah guys uh that's basically it also i just wanted to add that most of these clips are looped because some of the files got corrupted, but yeah, guys, hope you join the rest of the video, and I'll see you all in the next Alright, what is going on, guys? The first item we have on the list is the Antec 1 Mid Tower Case. So, this is a Mid Tower Case, meaning that it's not too big, but it's not too small. This is a great case for holding all my components, and a great case that I recommend for you, and it's very cheap. Moving along to the graphics card, I believe, we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti Superclocked. Yes, that is a mouthful, but as you probably heard in the first introduction, yes, I did order the wrong one, but this one does allow you to play very demanding games at 60 FPS like Armor 3, and I'll be putting an example at the end. So, for the RAM, we got the Fury Hyper X 2 4 GB dual channel RAM. This is great for gaming and also good for rendering and editing. So, up next, we got our processor, which is the Intel i5 Unlocked. This is a quad core processor, it comes with a CPU cooler, and uh, there it's unlocked so it can go up to 3.9 GHz. Next, we got the power source. This is a great power source. It's EVGA 600 bronze, uh, 600 watts, and this is plenty enough power for our gaming PC here. And it's going to last me a very, very long time and allows for further upgrades if I would like to. So, moving along, we got the MSI CSM H87M G43. That's a mouthful again, but it's a great motherboard. It's actually used in a lot of military computers. And uh, it's great for gaming and whatever you're gonna throw at it. So now we're gonna move on to the accessories, and we got the Logitech Deadliest Prime mouse. It has LED lights that are blue and pulsating lights, as you can see right now. It's really good. It has some hotkeys that edit the sensitivity and whatnot. But yeah, great mouse overall. So then we got our recording mic that I'm currently using right now, which is the Blue Nessie. It is a great recording mic and it's good for music and it's just overall great quality. Moving along to the two monitors I have, I have a Samsung LED 27 inch monitor and my second one is an Acer 15 inch and it is really good just to have a second monitor. But yeah guys, that's basically all the parts. I'm getting a new graphics card as soon as possible but I'll keep you updated and yes, expect regular uploads. So yeah guys, that's basically it, and I'll see you all next time.